That's so messed up. I guess you control the uh, my, my own phone. Yeah. I'm not going to tell them what happened. Guys, if you're thinking about living in Costa Rica or you live in Costa Rica or even want to travel to Costa Rica and you're a veteran and you want to know about the medical insurance, the health care in Costa Rica that uh, not applies to you, but tell me. It, it, uh, what you can use coverage here. Okay, what you can use coverage. We're going to talk all about that with an expert in the field, Johnny. We'll be with you in a second. Guys, I'm Michael Lown for TravelCostaRicaNow.com. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I would appreciate it. If you want to see videos as we put them up, hit the notification bell. And real quick, got another relocation retreat coming. Got another relocation retreat coming. So if Costa Rica's on your radar, think you might want to live here, but you're not quite sure, the six, seven-day event might be for you. There'll be no blowing smoke. The good, the bad, the ugly about living in Costa Rica. And at the end of it, you will know if Costa Rica is right for you or it's honey, we're going to Portugal. It's my favorite thing to do, guys. I speak there. Uh, all the people there are my friends. I trust them. And just the price of admission are, gonna, are worth the contacts you're going to meet there. We'll sit around the pool. I'll answer all your questions. All that information is in a link in the description. All right. I don't know a lot about this veteran stuff, Johnny. If you guys don't know who Johnny is, He's our medical dental guy. So he's the guy that helps you. You want liposuction, you need stem cell therapy, breast augmentation, need your grill is all messed up and you need some implants. He's the guy. So if you go to travel, if you're interested, go to travelcostarecanal.com. Scroll down. There's a quick form. I will get it to him and you can talk all you want about uh, medical dental tourism in Costa Rica or Mexico. He works with them both. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about veterans, Johnny. Why do you keep bringing up medical dental stuff? I don't know. You said it first. Uh, all right. <laughs> so I don't really know quite a, a lot about this. I know there's like TRICARE and there's veterans. I'm a veteran. And I mean, there's, let, let's go with living. I want to live here as a veteran. Now, am I, am I a resident or does it matter? It doesn't matter. So I can either be a resident or I can be thinking about living here, but I'm living here. Yes. And I'm a veteran. What, uh, what access do I have? Through being a vet, you're retired Navy. I can't. You wore that hat on purpose, didn't you? Are you retired Navy? I'm a disabled Navy veteran. You have been disabled a long time. Yeah, yeah. Yep. It was a mind thing, right? It was a mind thing. <laughs> I fell off of a aircraft carrier, but yeah. <laughs> but, but you really are retired. Navy. I, I'm a retired, yeah, but uh, on the disabled side because I got hurt in the, in the service. Oh, uh, okay. So I guess you probably know what you're going to be talking I, about. I know. I know quite a bit. All right, so what, what, uh, gosh, I can't think of the word. What's a veteran's, what's that mean down here? What can I get? Do I have medical insurance? Can I go to a hospital? Do they pay down here? So, yes, but there's a lot of things that you need to know. One, facilities where you can go. Two, that if those facilities take your type of veteran care, because there's different levels of veteran care. There's people that are retired, there's people with disabilities that are covered under the uh, TRICARE system, and then there's active duty. And then there's also um, service-connected uh, disabilities that are covered under TRICARE that are, should be covered anywhere. So there's a few different categories. And it does depend on what category you're under. Right. It, it and, and it also depends. And also, it, it's also veterans care for um, wives uh, and then children under a certain age. Here? Yes. Oh, okay. You have Because what happens is that TRICARE it covers you. There's a uh, um, a different type of TRICARE that's for families and such, or or a veteran was deceased and the wife is still gets um, uh, coverage under his because he's deceased, but the coverage goes to her until she passes. Okay, so how most of the main the major hospitals for people that don't know are in the Central Valley around San Jose area. Yes, right? sir. There is the Metropolitano. Clinica Biblica, and SEMA. Now, those are the, one, the few of the major, major hospitals. There are also other hospitals and other uh, physicians that are under the TRICARE system in their programs. There's a lot to mention. And these, you can look them up. How do you find those? Um, there's two places you can find them. You can find them on the TRICARE website that lists the country Latin America. You look for Costa Rica, and you can look for authorized providers. And then there's also the uh, U.S. U.S. Uh, Embassy website in Costa Rica also has this information. Now, just because they're authorized providers, that doesn't mean they. Okay, it still could be a different 
since you have different insurances, what's going to, cause I, okay, I get hurt. I'm a veteran. I have to go to the, I have to go to the emergency, you know, or whatever. So you, you have to define your coverage in which area you sit in. And then you also, when you go to the hospital, you have to be approved. It's not just a blanket check that they, they take care of you. You have to be approved. So is there co-payments? There's some, some, some plans have co-payments. It's uh, for the retired veterans or disabled veterans. They've got a co uh, co-payment, but the people that are active duty don't. And that's a different category. Explain co-payment just in case. people. Okay. Are. Co-payments are that it's something that's agreed with TRICARE that you're going to pay the first $3,500 of a treatment and then they cover the rest of it. Depend, is it does that, the co uh, co-payment depend on what the service is or is it like, let's say, a set fee? It's a set fee and it doesn't matter what the service is. It's just a limit for what you're, you're responsible for. But that's so it's like a de de deductible. It's a deductible that they get back, but it's something that it's just a process. Okay. So you pay... Well, explain some of the different ones. So are you getting reimbursed? Do I, okay, am I ever going to have to come up? I'm a veteran. Do I have to come up with $15,000 at any point? It depends on which coverage you have within TRICARE that you may have to do that. Because some of the TRICARE is not based on co-pays. It's based on reimbursal. So it depends on which program that you, you signed up for that tells you which you're going to be doing. If you have to pay it up front and then you get reimbursed later. But you have to... For that to happen, you have to go through the process of getting approved prior that uses with the provider and they approve the surgery, then you can get it done. So how, how are emergencies dealt with? Emergencies are dealt with differently. When you have an emergency, by, by law here in Costa Rica, regardless of TRICARE or anything, a hospital cannot turn you away, nor can they turn away because of, uh, of non-payment. They have to take care of you. They have to stabilize you by law. Well, well, that's pretty much the, that it, they have to stabilize you. They have to stabilize you. They can kick you out to the public sector. After you stabilize. After you stabilize, <laughs> but they got to take care of you. In the veterans case, they'll go, will go through a process to go into TRICARE for Latin America, get approval, get things started. But a lot of times you have to, if the hospital does, does not have an agreement with TRICARE, like these three that I mentioned, then you have to wait for approval for anything to happen. These other ones have pre-approvals again, but this depends on the type of coverage that the veteran has. If, if he or she is disabled, if she, if he or she are retired and disabled, it's a different plan. Or if he or she is um, a spouse of a retired veteran. Can you, could you navigate this system, not knowing Spanish, but living here and having to go through this? It's tough. So it, re regardless if it's, something's getting paid for, or there's co-payments or reimbursements, is there a lot of bureaucracy and, and paperwork involved? Yes, in there this? is. There is a lot of bureaucracy and paperwork. Um, but usually, like I said, if you go to these, some of these facilities that are our providers, there's less paperwork. Will they help you? Yes. Like if you say I'm a veteran, I go to, let's say, SEMA, because I, 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 I see that, oh, I think they'll do this thing. They actually, in these, these hospitals, they have a special department that specifically works with veterans. Each, so is it is just these three hospitals? These three hospitals are the ones that are signed up with TRICARE and then certain providers like specialists that went through the process of being an authorized provider through TRICARE. Now, I know you mentioned this. So this is for resident, non-resident, or somebody just traveling through? Yes. Okay. Because what happens is that as a, as a veteran... Um, as a veteran that falls into the TRICARE system, because not all, just because you're a veteran doesn't mean to get the service. You have to be a service connected or have been retired with, uh, in, wait a minute, what is veteran? I thought, I thought uh, once you're in no, the military, you're a veteran. A veteran inside the VA system inside the U.S., you can walk into any VA and be taken care of. But when you're outside the U.S. and inside Costa Rica or Mexico, you can't just walk in unless you fit the disabled category, service connected in the category, or you're retired or active duty. That's it. Or you're a spouse of somebody that passed away that was covered under this. I know I went through these four things, but it's you, a person that's in the system as a veteran, you, you know that you've 
um, apply. Like I can go to a, a, a VA anywhere in the U.S. now because I'm service connected, which means that something happened in the service that they're going to take care of me for the rest of my life. Have you used it here? No. Would you? Of course. Oh, but yeah, but you have other. Ins- I mean, I have other insurances, and and thank goodness this is. It's been an injury that happened 20 years ago, so a lot of it subsided. And, and mentally, you know, sometimes you, you, you try to put that away. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure. Um, so most people that have veterans, I know this is a probably a dumb question. Most people that have veterans insurance, do they have other insurances as well? Yes. And no question is dumb, Mike. Yeah, the, yeah, they're, 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 yeah the, only, the, 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 the only question is dumb is when, when you don't ask. Don't ask, right? <laughs> yeah, but... Veterans, a lot of have supplemental. So, so you know how the system works. It's usually the, they always ask, do you have insurance? Primary insurance goes first. And then usually this veterans is the supplement. So they'll pick up anything that the primary insurance didn't take on. This is, this is probably another. What's the rank? What's the best veterans insurance to have? You know what I mean? Like, okay, I'm walking in there. I know I'm going to get shit covered and I'm not going to be out of pocket too bad. Well, the, the <laughs> TRICARE has so many different ones. I'll, I'll list them for you so you know which one. It just depends on how you qualify for it. If you qualify under a retired or a service-connected or... What service-connected mean? Service-connected means that, like, when I was on an aircraft carrier, I got hit by a plane and I got thrown off. Wait, wait, wait. You just can't glide past that, that you got hit by a plane? Yeah, well... This yeah. explains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so when we were on a flight deck, the plane was, um, I'm going to. I don't want to trigger you, dude. So I'm I'm gonna gonna be, gonna they're going to No. Um, when the, the flight, the, I, I forgot his name. It's been so long. Um, the gentleman that takes care of the planes that take, take off for, from the catapults, he revved up, you always rev up the plane to full, full after. I happen to be smart enough to be in the line of of the of of the intake, so it took me all the way over the plane. So mm, it kind of hurt a little bit. So that that service connected. So it happened while I was serving. I got uh, so it's service connected. So for the rest of my oh, life, oh okay, I I'm see. I'm connected to that. Now the other people that are retired, they serve for twenty years. They're they're under that plan, or or maybe the uh, another service can maybe their their leg got blown off from a, a mine. That's also sir. anything that happens stress or or a landmine went off, and then your eardrums and you have hearing aids. The service takes the VA takes care of those hearing aids for the rest of your life. The people you've worked with in this uh, with as far as the veterans are the hospitals here. The three that do work with it. Do they do a good job? You know what I mean? Are they, are they, hey, they, they treat them good and they, everything is they, fine? And You know, it's subjective sometimes on, on anything that happens, but they treat them as everybody should be with respect. But sometimes um, some people have different policies. So you have to be mindful of that. So before you get treated, you already know what's going to happen, right? Because you have to get approved. So yes. So it's not like you're going to be met with a surprise right. at the you're, end, right? No, you, you're already going to know what you're going to be approved for, what happens. It's because what happens when you, when you get into the emergency room or wherever, they, they look you up. They have a direct connection with, um, connection with Latin America's TRICARE system um, or CHAMPS, sometimes people call it. Uh, on that TRICARE, and you connect, they know that you're going to get, uh, you have coverage or not, what type of coverage you have. All right. So, wow. Okay. I know it's a lot of information, Mike. No, it's good. I mean, you know, I, I, people will comment on the videos a lot. You know, you know, they talk about this quite a bit. So I think it's a thing, you know, people want, I think people are mostly scared of what everybody's scared of, in what, regardless of where you're from. Am I going to have to sell my house? You know, is, is this going to be taken care of or do I... If you have to come up with thirty grand, I mean, you know. So, so that happened to one a video that we did. That, that happened that, to that one that, guy, that one that one veteran, because it was a he was different. He, he was retired and disabled, connected, service connected. So 
it happened to him and his coverage did have uh, you had to be a, a reimbursal so he had to pay it up front we were able after six days of, of talking with the VA I'm gonna put that video in a link in the description because it is a good story and um, one you might want to check out Go so ahead. it was six days of conversing with them convincing them that this this individual served our country and should be taken care of and we got there as I recall he was there was some issues in the beginning. He didn't. Yeah, I don't want to say he almost died, but there was some. We had to we had to take him out of the uh, public hospital because he had different conditions, and they weren't addressing those conditions. And because the system here is, they step and take all these steps to get to the same spot, even though they know that this exists, and they just take longer. And in his condition, he was worsening every day, so we were running the risk of him not making it. All right. Well, I know this uh, always begs more, you know, a lot of times more questions and answers. So if you want to get a hold of Johnny and ask him anything about this veteran stuff, or you want him to help you, uh, I don't know, handhold you through it. I think he can do that. You would do that, right? You've of done course. it. I've done, you've it. done it. So anyway, again, TravelCostaRicaNow.com. Uh, scroll down. It's a very quick form and I'll get you to him uh, ASAP. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks there a lot. Sir. I feel like I know more. I feel like I know more. I'm Michael Allen, TravelCostaRicaNow.com. Things are going to pop up if you're thinking about living or traveling anywhere always do your homework and research and if it's got anything to do with costa rica i'm gonna put my videos up against anybody's ciao